scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hallelujah. The Bible says, in all your ways, acknowledge Him. To acknowledge Him means to recognize that He's the reason why you are what you are, where you are. Don't ever be careless about this. In all your ways. Lord, if anybody sees any wisdom in my life, it's because of you. I wish I could sing the song. I'm acknowledging you for for what you do in my life. I'm acknowledging you for who you are. Dance like you are. Dance like you are. I'm acknowledging you for who you are. For what you do in my life. I'm acknowledging you for who you are. Dance like you are. Dance like you are. Baba. Baba. Oh. Baba. Baba. Oh. 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 Baba. Oh. Jehovah, be lifted in my life today. Even in my heart, even in my soul. Jehovah, be lifted in my life today. Baba, oh, Baba, Baba, oh, hey, Baba, oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, as a family, we say thank you. There is not one of us who has what it takes to produce results. If there is anything in our lives, if there is anything in this ministry that is worthy of commendation, we declare that it is because of you. We are not ashamed to declare your faithfulness. You are our helper, Ebenezer, the Lord who has helped us. For you are holy, righteous and worthy, my God, I lift you high, be lifted high, be lifted
Something mighty in your life. God is building something powerful in your life. God is making mighty men in this place. And He won't stop. He won't stop till you look just like Him. He won't stop. No, He won't stop till your life looks like him let me prophesy to you again god is raising mighty warriors in this place god is raising men of honor in this place he is raising men of influence in this place my God is raising men of power in this place. You may cry, but he won't stop till your life looks like him. You may weep, but he won't stop till your life looks like him. When it's over, when it's over, when it's over, when it's over, suddenly you look like him suddenly you talk like him suddenly you walk like him suddenly you heal like him he's raising me in this place he's raising your finances in this place he's raising your anointing in this place he won't stop, he won't stop to we look just like him. Please don't stop, never stop to we look just like you. Never stop, never stop to we look just like you. He's raising men of fire in this place. He's raising men of vision in this place. He's raising men of wisdom in this place. He's showing his mysteries in this place. And he won't stop. No, he won't stop. He looks like him. He won't stop. He won't stop. To your life looks like him. He won't stop. He won't stop. To his bride looks like him. He won't stop. He won't stop. Listen. He won't stop. He won't stop. To your life looks like him. He won't stop. He won't stop till your life looks like him. Listen, let me start tonight with a word of encouragement to someone. I don't care how your life is. You are a project that God is working on. Line upon line. Precept upon precept. Sometimes you may cry as the word comes sometimes you may wish the training stops but he won't stop please don't stop till your church looks like you never stop please don't stop till your bride looks like you never stop never stop till our lives look like you never stop never stop till our lives look like so hold on yeah, my encouragement hold on God is working hold on. oh yeah you may be discouraged hold on you may weep for when he's over when he's over when he's over when he's over when it's over, when it's over, when it's over Suddenly you look like him Suddenly you talk like him Suddenly you love him Suddenly you rule like him oh. For 
the sun will no more give you sunlight by day the moon will no more give you when he's done with you Jehovah will be your everlasting light he'll be your glory your strength and your sight for the light of the moon will be like the light of the sun and the light of the sun will shine seven times as bright when Yahweh binds up the wounds in your life when he heals all the bruises inflicted by this world Romans chapter 8 from verse 18 says for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy listen to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed I reckon that for now there are things that don't look like it yet you are praying but you've not seen the answer you are fasting but there's nothing in your life you have a church and your church looks like a shop because nothing is happening he won't stop he won't stop till your life looks like him take this as a prophecy tonight till your life looks like him he won't stop he won't stop till your life looks like him please don't stop never stop till my life looks like you please don't stop no don't stop till my life lord i may cry but please don't stop till my life looks like you i may be tired but please don't stop till my life he won't stop till our lives look like you he'll never stop till our lives look like you never stop till my life looks like you hallelujah lord we believe in you we believe in you we trust where you are taking us and we ask that you will take us there in the name of jesus christ lord let our tears not stop you let our fatigue not stop you let our human weariness not stop you let not even our unbelief stop you in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'd like you to walk up to 10 people just prophesy to them tell them you are a wonder on your way to happen go ahead Hallelujah. God bless you. Please be seated. We will all be very great in this life. But the best part of it is that we will all know ourselves. Hallelujah. You see, every leader, please listen every leader whether in church setting has an assignment praise the lord human beings are like please pay attention human beings are like computers now that's not an insult i just want to explain something to you human beings are like gadgets only a leader knows what they will become because god revealed it to him are we together 
the people have an idea of what they are to become but they don't have it clearly and they don't know how to get there every true leader is a leader only because he has seen the end are we together now the job of the leader is to be able to lead the people their job is to trust him enough and follow him so the first assignment of everybody who wants to follow a leader is to probe the life of that leader until you think he's worthy of your loyalty and trust because it's risky to follow a leader who doesn't know where he's going he will take you anywhere dump you there are we together so the bible says without vision the people perish the word perish there is they miss their direction they cast off restraint listen brothers and sisters let me announce to you that god is taking you somewhere are we together i want you to trust please listen listen trust trust the teachings that you are receiving don't just agree with them mentally trust it it says trust in the lord right believe in the lord and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets not just no believe that the person god has placed in your life by grace has an idea on how to take you to where you need to go and you receive the truth you see the problem with many of us is we are not receptive to the word we listen to it and compare it with what we know and if they tally we believe it if it does not tally we dump it away there are so many people you see let me tell you something i was teaching the school of ministry students yesterday anywhere you see consistent result there is understanding producing it are we together now please i need your attention anywhere you see consistent results there is understanding it's not guesswork it's not magic it's not some charm there is an intentional operation please my man come let me use him you're looking beautifully dressed with your tie oh this is lovely don't you think so this is beautiful you can dress like this on your wedding day and i'm telling you you are dear you are perfect this is this is it praise the lord sam please come let me use these guys i mean these are my people today are looking superb learn to celebrate good things <laughs> hallelujah poor people are mediocre fight and resent good things you know that spirit is dead here permanently it was buried by me personally learn to celebrate nice things now my man you noted this tie right yes sir can you do it again yes sir sam can you knot your tie again yes sir were you in the same room when you were knotting your ties but the ties are knotted because there is a principle that has nothing to do with the person it is a law there is a way you turn this rope you later call tie and it looks beautiful like this so he was doing it in his house or in his room sam was doing it in his own house they had the same result no witch stopped it no demon stopped it are we together they can do it every week because it is built on principles this is how i want your life to run such that you may be in Aquaibom, you may be in zamfara it makes no difference as far as you see the laws of god has equal value everywhere it's not like naira and dollar it's not like petrol it's not like all of these things it has equal value everywhere he told cain if you do what is right will your sacrifice not be accepted i don't reject it because your name is cain you are violating something listen your journey every man of god every man of god 
when you get people born again by the spirit and open them up to the ministry of the holy spirit the next thing the very next thing is to begin to guide them change their mindsets pray for one minute prophesy lord i understand what is happening to me hallelujah hallelujah god bless you please sit down these two guys and another example this guy is called a christian brother a this is christian brother b are we together both of them came to jesus christ genuinely confessed his lordship he lives in their hearts he lives in their hearts but the quality of their lives are we together and the possibilities that can be produced from their lives become different because this brother got born again and he was planted in a church where the man of god though well-meaning is just guessing around whatever he feels like teaching i was telling the school of ministry students today he feels like teaching on rapture next week he teaches on relationship the next week he teaches on certain kinds of mysteries have hazard informations whereas this brother had the opportunity to be planted under a very visionary pastor who understands where he is taking him are we together at the end of two years you bring them together and this guy is well-meaning jesus is still lord over his life but there is no victory in any area of his life there is no operation of the spirit at work in him he's familiar with a lot of christian terminologies but there is complete barrenness in his life whereas this other brother has moved forward because informations move people forward something he did not know he's now receiving let me just give us a background before i go into the teaching of tonight listen school of ministry students just allow me to take a little of your lectures and just bring to the house i want you to know this especially if you're a man of god members only receive about 20 percent of the information that is communicated to them are you following me now the smartest member in any congregation cannot at the first instance of any teaching assimilate more than 20 percent of what is really taught so while you hear people say mm, preach preacher are we together and while we as men of god keep fooling ourselves thinking we are impressing people with mysteries we coin scriptures and greek and hebrew words and at the end of it the people are dazzled they get up and they shake and we think we are moving forward let me assure you the lifespan of that noise is not more than one week they will hear something else that's why you pastors teach members how to reign in certain dimensions but when they stand in real life situations they make foolish decisions do you know why because something here did not take one sermon to be wrong it took their entire growing up process a mindset a thinking so don't you think you will come with just one sermon renew your mind and people say in the name of jesus i'm tired of this mind to mean that they are free oh no no the word of god must be taught systematically there are three dimensions of assimilation i was teaching the school of ministry students the first level is awareness any information you hear trust me the first encounter with it is only awareness you really have not understood it although you will argue let me tell you what awareness is all about awareness is like um information stored in a system but random are we together so the information is in you but it's random it's scattered it cannot be filed and produced when it is appropriate that is the reason why many students read they read two days to the exam they go to the exam hall and they remember 
this formula is in my head but whether it's five is five up or down i cannot exactly understand because you see the mind is like a machine are you getting what i'm saying now because you were only aware of the information later on you will remember but you do not have the power to remember it when you want because it's still at the level of awareness so you are learning tithing you are learning on the anointing you are learning on the ministry of the holy spirit you think you have gotten it but it's still in the realm of awareness the second level is called understanding where the logic and the principle behind that operation now enters into your spirit so you are no longer just aware of the information you understand it it says in all thy getting get understanding are we together now there are things in my life i thought i had gotten i would have argued but in recent times i'm looking at them and i'm surprised i'm like my goodness so what did i think i got that's why you must be very meek in the presence of god is god speaking to us understanding the third level and that's where god is taking us is mastery everybody say mastery the third level is mastery at that point the the revelations have become a stronghold in your mind you cannot undo it again it has become part of your convictions that's the realm of settled faith you are not jacking yourself into believing that reality he said but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded persuaded you may be like this brother or this person in this place tonight this gentleman comes to church with his philosophies let's go to church i'm a christian let me go and hear what god has to say and when the message is going on he looks at people writing and he feels guilty and he says bros you have two virus he collects it because he does not even understand why people write it is not a revelation to him he's just embarrassed that in a whole row he's the only one not writing and he says let me write what did they even say ecclesiastes he just put dash 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 he's not he's not even conscious of the information he's writing whereas someone is sitting like a sponge waiting for every truth and he's writing are we together now this is this brother like many of us we come to god with our stumbling blocks our mindsets our ideologies so many pastors so many people business leaders many all kinds of ideas and then as though we came to watch a cinema let's hear what god has to say and then when one looks impressive he said guy that's smart the other one said eh, do i exactly agree no only a fool argues with the word of god the word of god is supposed to be like a hammer in your life when it comes let it crush everything that does not have stamina in your life and give way refuse to have loyalty to wrong ideologies don't hold on to them because of the solidarity of how long they have been in your life that that's the information you've known all your life does not mean you are right are we together be like the other brother your heart receptive Oh, I'm a man of God, but I know there is more. I'm a businessman, but I know there is more. I'm a leader, but I know there is more. I've seen the anointing of God in my life, but I know there is more. I've seen myself operating the prophetic, but I know this, this cannot be it. This can't be it. God is so much bigger than this. He's calling us deeper 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 is calling us deeper deeper hallelujah any church 
any pastor any man of god that is not committed to teaching his members the principles not stories are we together not opinions the principle you change men by changing their convictions you change men by altering their convictions you change men by altering their convictions a man cannot change if his convictions doesn't change a man cannot change if his thinking is still the same so the word of god comes to you and begins to propose a new life you have lived this life but i show you a more excellent way it's up to you to believe god enough or argue it let me tell you something i have watched and and sometimes we discuss it especially in recent times with Ejimi. i have watched with shock how very ignorant people ignorant pastors ignorant leaders ignorant businessmen argue with those who have results to me i define that as the highest level of pride i will never argue with a man who has results when i stand before people whose lives i greatly admire my heart at once i take up all that title apostle so, so, so and so and i sit down when i see a man communicating a dimension of reality i have not seen in my life i dare not argue i listen and i listen sincerely it doesn't mean i receive everything but i listen i listen without any sense of cynicism i lay my golden crowns thank god for the little i know but i want to know more and i must be meek because the lesser is blessed of the greater colleagues don't bless themselves they advise themselves are we together uh, that that foolish thinking that is eating the body of christ that makes everybody come and then you say oh let me listen oh sam this is i'm impressed you see an ignorant man listen to a pastor who spends two hours teaching something that can change his life and at the end he comes to the person and says wow very nice the ignorant man will not say my goodness you changed my life can i have your tapes can i establish any strategic alliance with you everybody say i'm becoming wise say it i'm becoming wise give me anybody and i say this with all due respect give me anybody any two people any two people at all all i need from any of them is a teachable heart a truly teachable heart bring this guy from london with the little knowledge he knows bring this guy from my village somewhere are we together bring two of them to me let this guy have a teachable heart genuinely teachable let this guy have an arrogant heart give me six months believe me when i tell you six months of thorough mentorship six months with, with a heart that is malleable i will produce a wonder you compare them after six months their difference is like light and darkness that's what is happening to some of us but the problem is some of us are not paying attention we are not seeing what god is doing never come to the presence of god just to worship to fall down to stand up and to leave there is a measure of transformation happening to you line upon line precept upon precept here a little there a little then your life is changing changing your thinking is changing all of a sudden you were somebody who would not even comb your hair but you are a prayer warrior are we together you've never seen the relevance of a comb something about the spirit of excellence touches you and you say if i add a good prayer life to character and comb my hair well is that not an added advantage are we together 
all of a sudden you find out that you are a prayer warrior but you are poor and broke and every door of finance is closed and then the word of god is coming at first let me tell you how you will react because most likely the people who taught you how to pray may not teach you to pay attention to finances so it doesn't matter let me just be serious with god god will reward me for my prayer but as the word of god comes you will find out that one truth in the kingdom does not replace the other you can excel in one dimension and still fail in another he made many lights but he made two great lights there's not just one light the kingdom of god is made up of systems your understanding of the operation in any system will deliver the results for you so that you are living in divine health does not guarantee prosperity that you are rich does not guarantee a healthy spiritual life are, are we together now yeah so the word of god keeps balancing you you now begin to understand the systems of god say the systems of god please say it again the systems of god yes there are different departments of spiritual operation there is the economy of the kingdom there is the economic system of the kingdom are we together there is the governmental system of the kingdom right there are systems in the kingdom there are operations that are responsible for the delivery of the anointing dramatic proportions of grace upon the life of a man there are possibilities of god that can activate your finances you can master god's economy there is another dimension that can make you excel when you understand God's concept and idea of relationships. Then you will be a successful person spiritually. Then you will be a millionaire, multi-millionaire. Are we together? Then you will be an award-winning husband or wife with the ability to train children. Then you will be kingdom-driven and not carried away by those things. That is a complete man that is a picture of the true bride of Christ anything short of this order is like taking the four legs of a table and you stand on just one how long can you stand you were designed to stand on two hallelujah pray a prayer point right now quickly and say Lord expose to me my areas of ignorance I am willing to receive pray thank you. thank you guys thank you please pray expose oh God unto me the areas of ignorance in my life I'm not too arrogant to receive your word I'm not too proud I'm a great businessman I'm a great man of God but Lord I tremble at your word I'm not part of those who argue with your word my heart is open because the word of God has the ability of influencing my mind. It can change me. It's my bailout from a bad background. It's my bailout from a life of suffering. It's my bailout from a life of carnality. Expose unto me. Hallelujah. Are you following me now are we together there is an area in your life where you have not tapped into the understanding of the laws of the kingdom it may be in the area of excellence you have not gotten a revelation that personal excellence is a language in the school of success you may not know you are a sincere person are we together so you don't pay attention to being excellent whether your shoe is polished or not you don't care all you know is god be glorified whether your shirt is ironed or not you don't care are we together now yes you don't pay attention to those details because you think they are carnal then the word of god begins to come and says in addition to your spiritual alignment begin to learn these principles then you learn them you start applying it to your business are we together whereas before customers will come and stand outside yes who is there and he, ah, i came to buy milk how much you don't know how much you are losing because of that wrong mindset all of a sudden you take the spirit of excellence to your business 
you are a prayer warrior but something is changing your mind and because you are receptive you now arrange tables employ one person as a receptionist when customers come you now greet them hello you are welcome and they are surprised ah, ah bros you don't change they are trying to bring you back to yesterday and you forbid it i've been excellent please you can sit down sir how may we help you ah. and the person squares up himself say, i'm impressed where is your manager oh he's busy but i'll get to him um if there's anything i can do to make your life comfortable please i will the person calls his friend and say bros you want to travel to lagos whereas i mean there's somebody who is here and willing to help you that business connection come are we together excellence you have taken it to your business all of a sudden a sudden you've taken it to your academics your notebooks are no longer in your pocket you don't fold them like a thief and put it in your pocket the spirit of excellence is influencing your life all of a sudden you realize i'm 26 i'm no longer a child i need to start behaving well all this dressing wearing a shirt as if one one torn shirt no singlet inside you've never considered buying singlet you sag your trouser the belt has caught you all kinds of things have happened you just move around and you suddenly sit down and say ah, god bless me with ten thousand let me buy at least two nice shirts one nice trouser i found out that i am 27 i don't have a suit but i've bought food for 10 ladies and none of them like me let me go and get the spirit of excellence is changing you. You no longer find yourself among those who are gossiping and gisting. They just come around. You start speaking. Not like where you are. But like where God is taking you to. Are we together? Somebody comes. Have you heard? He says, it's not necessary, please. I, my time is allocated. I say, ah, ah, which one is all this time, time thing? He says, no, no, no. I realize that there is a graph in this life. I have come out of my morning face and I'm not yet prepared. So I'm catching up. I really appreciate if you don't become a distraction to me right now. All of a sudden, let me tell you what will happen. Heavy persecution, which is a sign that you are doing something right. Because your status quo, the people in your environment are now uncomfortable with you. They will interpret your transformation as pride. But give them time. They will go and give you chance for the real ones to come. You are switching realms. Are we together? All of a sudden, you used to be lazy and carnal. When we're in Rome, behave like Romans. When we are broke, we call any military officer. But the word of God is coming. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure. Are we together? Now it becomes a conviction. And your friends say, Kai, are we not traveling to Abuja this weekend? And say, no, it's over. I'm over with this life. I made up my mind that I want to be a woman of virtue and excellence. And they say, I bet you after everybody has left with you. And then you tell them, the Bible says, remember not the former things. Nor consider the things of old. I may have lived in ignorance, but now that I know, I'm determined. Then he calls you. And you pick your call and say, sir, I appreciate you, but something has been happening in my life recently. Don't say, I won't come like before. No, explain why you will never go again. So that he will know that you are not confused. It's a decision I've made. Your life is changing you used to be arrogant and and very rude to elderly people but then you are learning right now that there is something called the law of honor all of a sudden you step down and you see your mother and you greet she's carrying something and you say mama let me help you say ah, i thought you were a pastor you say no that's why i'm carrying this because i'm a pastor you say, i thought pastors are big men you say no i have learned that leaders are servants not bosses you lead by servanthood something is changing if this is not happening to you you are wasting your time in koinonia what can you see in your life has the spirit of excellence come upon you have you started washing the plates as soon as you finish eating or is still there one week like before there's no excellence are we together now have you started paying attention to details help me sir do you have a good notebook where you can document your persuasion or you still have pieces of papers you move around and chuck in your pocket 
when you go to churches do you sit down and listen to the man of god with your heart open disregarding the imperfections and looking for jesus in that church or do you still go and you say this man of god is not like my church this guy cannot even speak english very well our apostle used to wear suit what is this guy wearing like this so you don't listen have you dropped that attitude of cynicism where it's no longer my church or koinonia or kingdom if this is not happening to you you are not changing has your prayer life improved by revelation not by guilt not by guilt where joshua selman preached and said if you are not praying three hours you are not a christian i just say ah god oh, let's do it you put alarm clock and you can't wait the moment it does bam you say go oh god that's all I'm, I'm done no but by revelation he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray because by revelation you have been given insight of what your prayer life does so on tuesday while you are lazy you would still come to the prayer department four o'clock you are on your way to rema why because i must build my spirit is it comfortable no it's not about comfort every man who strives for mastery must strive lawfully lawfully according to the rules my spiritual development requires fasting do i want to fast no but i do it out of love for christ and the discipline that will build me you are growing whereas you would have been the one before who will argue with anybody people are persecuting you and you are trying to explain no it's not like that it's me did i shout at you am i not a nice person now you have learned that only those behind you backbite those in front cannot backbite because they are focusing and moving forward and so you use those criticisms as stepping stones not stumbling blocks you have grown your self-worth has been so stable with the word of god you may not have all the money in your pocket but nobody can preach you into thinking inferior and it's not about saying i'm not this there is a settled confidence i am wonderfully and fearfully made are we together different dimensions of the kingdom all of a sudden you start committing yourself to tithe you start your tithing and the first one month is as if you are going to die you are hungry you are looking at that envelope you can eat it and nobody will know and ask god for forgiveness after after squandering the tithe but you tell yourself i'm no longer going to be a child i must grow and you are moving you are not seeing results but you know that as surely when a farmer plants he must reap you know it will come my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you oh god my secret place is calling you oh god my heart is calling you Hallelujah. whereas you a man of god your concept of ministry is to brag around looking for titles are we together hopping from one church to another hopping from the house of one rich member to the other bringing all kinds of prophecy are we together now arranging all kinds of people buy suit for me buy shoe for me my birthday is coming next year buy shoe for me all of a sudden you hear the word that ministry is not done that way ministry is about service with thorough integrity the willingness to be word compliant at any cost all of a sudden you find out wow whereas i'm doing ministry today and then occasionally i can go and watch pornography although i'm doing ministry occasionally i can go and drink i can watch this and you are finding out look it's time for me to be a true man of god it's time for me to be genuine it's time for me to be true are we together now and you go on a retreat i'm attacking the spirit of pornography i'm attacking the spirit of masturbation i'm attacking the spirit of immorality and drunkenness these are things that nobody may know yet but it's still and God is giving you opportunity. 
and you go before his presence Kabarakata. i'm going far god this thing must die we wait on you lord we wait on you we wait on you lord we wait on you we wait on you lord we wait on you i wait on you lord i wait on you sing it just one more time we wait on you lord we wait on you we wait on you lord we wait on you are we together so there is a mindset you have as a lady you come before god but there is a mindset you have you are born again but there is a mindset of desperation i can do anything for a man I can do anything for a rich man then all of a sudden you start receiving the word that there ought to be only one person who your life and allegiance should be pledged to jesus christ the son of god and now that revelation is meeting your wrong mindset are we together now oh i thought it was right to have 10 boyfriends 20 girlfriends and then be receiving money from this one when this one is broke this one is just receiving breakthrough i can alternate but now i'm learning do not be deceived god cannot be mocked whatsoever a man so well that he shall reap and you tell yourself it comes to an end i'm ready to settle down is god speaking to us that's the word working in you it's changing it may not be comfortable but all of a sudden you are learning your mother taught you not to listen to any man any man that talks give it back to him that's my daughter that's what they taught you and all of a sudden joshua selman attacks that rubbish and tells you no a meek and a temperate spirit is a woman's original design anything outside that produces a beast wives submit yourselves are we together and then the brothers come with their own mindset to i am the boss then I teach them husbands love your wives not the way culture taught you as Christ loved the church there is a standard it's not given to your personal opinion then your life is changing all of a sudden you turn and your world is changing like day and night you go back and do ministry with integrity no lying no prophesying to anybody and say drop 10,000 naira and I speak a prophecy no all of a sudden it may be popular but you change completely you don't criticize people you don't argue and tear down any man's ministry but you preserve truth as far as your work is concerned Lord if it means me living in hunger and teaching your truth I will walk in that integrity hallelujah whereas you're a man of God who will never pray and prepare your sermons you just get up and do anything you want to do all of a sudden you learn that a minister ministry is trust from god supervised by god all your prayer life is just about give me tea give me bread all of a sudden you take on a a template of a man who has true compassion for his members lord bless your people open doors for them and god is watching you are you are keeping your own needs aside and you are praying lord there are barren women in my church give them children not for my name's sake for your name's sake lord that lady there are three ladies in my in my ministry that have hiv that have cancer that have fibroid they are going to die i intercede for them lord i found out that in one week i counseled 18 brothers suffering from masturbation i attacked that spirit that's how to pray that's the heart of a true shepherd they may not see you when you are doing this but let me tell you you see ba this thing we do you can't fake it for too long if you are not doing these things in reality in reality a day will come it will become clear because you'll be tired no human being can pretend forever are we together 
Hogenedo Do 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 Hogenedo Hogenedo Tirido do do tirido Hogenedo One more time. I'll get it all. Oh. Hallelujah. Is your life changing? Are you becoming relevant to society? Those you are living around, can they look at your life and say, Kai? All of a sudden, promise is a blessing to everybody in this area. Or are you still the same nuisance that people have been having? It must change. Say it must change. I've watched people and I've seen by the grace of God how God has transited their lives. My own life, I look at my life and I wonder and I'm grateful to God for the passion i have i have i have such a hunger for transformation i have no loyalty for error the moment i find out that there is something in my life that is impeding my growth i wave it goodbye forever no matter how long i've been with it i am malleable to change i'm not too arrogant to change i'm not too arrogant to tell god i'm sorry i'm not too arrogant to tell god i can be better is God already speaking to us tonight? Because I want you to change. This is what needs to change. This is what needs to change. Your mindset. I'll get to the teaching shortly. But this is, I'm preparing the ground. This is what I'm supposed to talk about. It, 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 that's where it's all leading to. Really. My message tonight is on repentance. And it's not your idea of repentance. That was the one message Jesus brought. Repent. 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 Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 6, please, verse 10. See, listen, Koinonia, hear me. You will thank me for these things you are receiving today. Believe me. When five years from now, ten years from now, you turn back and look at your children and you look at the sufferings and the ignorance of men and the result of their ignorance, you will just get down on your knees. Your remaining lifetime will be spent in tears of gratitude. Lord, how did I escape? He said, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? The darkness will come upon the earth. You can't pray it away. But there is a key that exempts you. And this is it. 6 verse 10. Thy kingdom come. Jesus was teaching them how to pray. And he says, thy kingdom come. Three words that have governed my life thy kingdom come and it tells us how to bring the kingdom it says thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven hallelujah now please listen very important for you to get this foundation the word kingdom is actually a combination of two words the king's domain the king's domain the king's domain the word kingdom means the domain of a king a kingdom is a sphere of influence a territory where the influence and the culture of a king is permitted to find expression without restraint that's a kingdom 
any sphere any territory where the influence and the culture of a king is permitted to find expression without restraint it's called a kingdom the domain of a king please listen i'll just connect what i've said so far with the teaching tonight and then we'll pray because i want us to be kingdom people there are many gospels that we preach and there are many gospels seven of them the bible teaches but the gospel jesus brought to the church is the gospel of the kingdom a revelation of the influence of christ the king upon a territory and jesus is teaching them how to connect to the heart of the father he says when you pray let it be that your desire should be lord your kingdom your influence the same way it is in heaven you know why heaven is the way it is because the kingdom of god the kingdom has been established the rule the reign the culture the way of life the modus operandi of god heaven is governed only by his ideas no suggestion no addition no improvement the wisdom of god is the map the compass that governs the activities in heaven are we together now so heaven is the way it is the arrangement of the 20 and 4 elders the streets of gold right there are 12 things the bible reveals to us about heaven one of them is the appearance of the throne room are we together now the 20 and 4 elders the angels the seven lampstands christ being in the midst of the lampstand the voices in heaven all kinds of arrangements the center of heaven is the throne room that's where life emanates that's where the rod of his justice that's where the rod of leadership proceeds from no rebellion the angels that rebelled were casted down to the earth perfect justice yet perfect love and so when you watch the inhabitants in heaven they don't guess how to live there is order the 20 and 4 elders know when to bow one doesn't just say kai i'm tired of waiting i remove my crown after all all of us will remove our crown there is excellence are we together the atmosphere of heaven is unrestrained there is no loyalty to two people no possibility of rebellion christ the center of heaven so there's no lack why because the ideas of god who is the fountain of wisdom is what permeates that environment are we together there is no hate they don't do capitalism they don't do democracy all your Karl Marx kinds of leadership and governance they don't do it there's nothing called the masses in heaven are we together there's no such thing as that no political parties no lack no ownership in heaven only access ownership is a sign of rebellion in heaven nobody owns anything the citizens of heaven only have access are we together now jesus is saying if you want your life to look like heaven listen he says pray lord your influence let it come to my life let it come to this system transfer everything that makes heaven heaven to find expression here and this is the secret he says his influence will find expression when his will everybody say will change that word will to idea change that word will to word his word change that word will to convictions change that word will to ideologies when your ideologies are executed in the earth your influence will come when my life permits your ideas then your kingdom can find expression in my life is god speaking to us tonight so the level to which i achieve personal excellence in every area of my life is the degree to which i relinquish my idea about life and i embrace 
that of heaven it is foolish for me to come from my culture right i come from a culture of warriors and warriors are arrogant people because they are always fighting animals and fighting enemies are we together now many of us come from different cultures now we come to god and god is saying i want my kingdom to come into your life this lack this pain your marriage is not working because all of you are bringing cultural ideas i'm from Ibrom. he's from lagos lagos and Ibrom is clashing what is he producing disaster and god is saying both of you leave it embrace my ideas are we together now now it's difficult because we hold on to the things we've known it defines our sense of relevance but god is saying if you let it go make my will be done my ideas my concepts then you will find out that your life will change it no longer will be an issue of Igbo or Hausa or Yoruba or South South right or Middle Belt no another culture has superimposed the limitation of your culture your state of origin notwithstanding so we can come from different regions but the operation of the kingdom within us is the same because we have relinquished our culture and embraced the culture of the kingdom please listen this is very important when we talk about the word of god that's what was translated there will is from the same greek word the root word is logos and logos means the thoughts of a man the thoughts what a man is thinking his ideas that cries out for execution so when you call jesus the living word you're actually calling him the living logos means that the he is the manifestation of the thoughts of the father whatever the father was thinking jesus was executing are we together that was what made him a perfect son so now he tells you embrace my ideas about finances embrace my idea about the anointing you don't get the anointing by going to a stream I'm going to go and bath. We're watching a program in the afternoon. How that a man went to the stream to look for money. And he was walking on water physically. And then a spirit came out of the river. And gave him a ring that he wore for money. Those are stupid ideas. Perverted ideas. But there is a way. There is a way that God can give a man. Are we together? When you come into Christ... When you come into the kingdom the assignment for you is in one word and it's called repent repentance repentance is the journey that makes men like christ repentance has nothing to do necessarily with sin like i'm a i'm a sinner the word repent is a word that is a process it's not just an act that happens in one minute repentance is a journey repentance is a process Matthew chapter 4 verse 17 John began to herald that message and when Jesus came Matthew 4 verse 17 he says from that time on please read Jesus began to preach what was his message what was his message repent why should you repent for the influence of heaven is within your reach right now change i have come with the keys to give you the word at hand means is within your grasp you have been praying and say lord bring your ideas to us now i have come as a representation of the government you so desire now repent because the kingdom it wasn't just an issue of heaven or hell repent for the kingdom of heaven the influence of the father the life that makes heaven heaven is embodied in a person and he has come to you so the first step to repentance is accepting the ministry of the one who is proposing it that's jesus but that's not the last step it is only the first step the first step to repentance is an acknowledgement 
that you are lost outside of him and outside of his ways the bible says we all like sheep right we all like sheep have gone astray he said every one of us have gone his own ways like a sheep without a shepherd wasting my life away with all kinds of ideas now he comes to me and he says joshua selman repent so i come to him the first step lord jesus i relinquish ownership over my life i have tried and i've done everything i know to do i've lived my life with my own ideas but i hand over my life to you right from beginning to the end it will always be always be you jesus so i answer what you call an altar call and a man of god guides me through a prayer of faith right and i accept his substitutionary sacrifice and let me tell you what happens to many of us after service you just look pious and you carry your bible and then you don't know what else no that is the beginning of the journey to true transformation repentance is the key to transformation you don't repent by saying i repent you repent by embracing new ideas that's the true character of repentance repentance means i have seen another light i have seen another paradigm i've seen another path that is greater than what my father taught me greater than what my mother taught me greater than what abu taught me greater than what nigeria taught me greater than what africa taught me and i am willing to follow the language of repentance is follow me follow me and i will make you pastor alpha follow me carry your ministry along carry your wife along carry your son along i will make you don't come made you you cannot be made i will make you the mission is trust me enough even when you don't understand what i'm doing believe that my thoughts towards you are thoughts of good and not of evil right i will go i will go wherever you lead me i will go yes lord i will go i will go wherever you lead me so he leads you to a path that you have never followed before and he says everybody follows this road but this is where i'm taking you to you you've never passed it before but you trust him you trust him lord i have never sown a seed before in my life but now you are teaching me this is the key to prosperity i trust you i've lived my entire life in fornication i don't know how to not live in fornication but i repent i embrace a new idea now see the way god works all you need to do is receive the grace for performance comes from him you do not have the power this is the true picture of grace the ability that backs your decision the decision is a product of your willpower but the grace to live in that decision is what is supplied after the decision is made so i don't have any power in myself but i decide i set before you life and death i set before you blessing and cursing choose don't worry about how you will go just choose so you choose lord i choose your way satan hears you causes hear you the backgrounds the foundations of your father's house hear you and god says now that you have chosen the spirit of grace <laughs> he's the holy ghost spirit of the living god you're the holy ghost scepter of the king of kings you're the holy ghost 
Seal of the age to come Changing everything Brothers and sisters You just made a decision Kabbalakata All of a sudden An ability you never had Suddenly comes on you How shall these things be? Seeing that I do not know a man He said the power of the highest you can't stop fornication by yourself you can't stop drinking by yourself yours is to choose i align with you and grace comes upon you all of a sudden power strength capacity you watch the things that once swallowed you and you can nod at it and go back to sleep because you chose we never choose because we say i don't have the power to make it happen god says choose prosperity you say but god i graduated with that class that's not your business just choose 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 and the grace comes and that grace appears unto men and can teach men it can teach men it can teach men how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way it's a part only the holy ghost knows how can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit how can you fly like eagles when you don't know the wind power and work in you changing everything that's what god is doing tonight swallow your pride tonight come to the school of the spirit that's what he's doing for you don't you know in his arms are the keys to eternal life like he's teaching you a little here a little there soon your day will dawn his hard work in you changing everything hallelujah line upon line precept upon precept you are changing it will not happen in one day the accuser of the brethren will come to you and raise his ugly head to tell you if if the hand of god is upon your life why are you not moving as fast as you should move right and then you keep moving like a seed that is planted you begin to grow and blossom and your life becomes a marvel and a wonder repentance please hear me is the key repentance is the pathway that leads you to transformation the moment you get born again your next assignment is the journey of transformation and it's only done when the word of god is accurately divided the word does not change people the word explained received and understood is what changes people don't you think that you are hearing the word it changes you know when the word of god is explained like i'm teaching now and you're saying wow i never saw it this way i thought it was just about heaven and hell i thought it was just about being a christian i didn't know that that's only the beginning to the journey i now see why i should come for koinonia every week it's a progression of the training are we together now yes it's a progression of the training Every time they go from strength to strength they go from strength to strength as many as appear before God in Zion they grow from strength to strength it says thou will show us the path of life for in thy light we see light so he exposes you while you are working well now your prayer life is at work now you are praying in tongues right now you are studying the word of god but you find out that there are all kinds of devilish things tying you down you thought they were not there but you are seeing patterns in your life that represent covenants of darkness then another teaching comes teaching you the mystery of true genuine deliverance that can cut you away from your past the same way the red sea divided egypt and israel forever they came out of Egypt but Egypt could still catch up with them but something happened 
an encounter that had to do with water and that was the end of it he said these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever are we together whereas you thought that all there is to life is just to work hard now you are finding out that there is a place for intelligent work there is a place for the favor of god and there is a place for prophecy believe in the lord your god and you shall be established nobody has ever really truly spoken over your life and what you are doing and you say this is the missing link i have studied the books i am a tiger but there is no prophetic word and you get that word and it changes your life brothers and sisters i wish god will open my heart so that you will see how much i crave that every one of us will step into perfection step into this realm of absolute maturity in the spirit a realm where the encumbrances of life have no power over you thank you see let me tell you something i have lost the ability to be discouraged honestly I know you think it's pride if i tell you i'm discouraged if i tell you i'm frustrated will i be true to you will i be sincere to you from my heart to tell you i'm discouraged because i found a stream of endless supply of grace <laughs> i found my way I found your word and I did eat it. It was a joy and rejoicing to my soul. It's not just saying I can cram scripture. Psalm chapter 1 verse 2. Psalm chapter 3 verse 4. Blah, 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 and then they are clapping. Whoa, whoa. That's not the word. That's memory verse. Thy word have I hidden. Like an endangered species. It has framed my conviction. I cannot think any other way. I don't think like a Nigerian. I don't think like a northern I think like a citizen of the kingdom because I truly am I'm not pretending it it's the truth there are some things that are no longer realities for me and my job is to take away those things those illusions out of your mind I can't think failure I can't it's not all this confession ah, I can't think I'm, I, I mean it seriously I mean it where will all the revelations of the mysteries of the kingdom run to when I'm thinking failure? How will it happen? Don't say, ah, you are lucky, God. No, 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 no. Take everything I have today. Give me time. It will come back. I found the key. I found the key. They know not, neither will they understand. He said they grope in darkness and so the earth is out of course. It is not about the government. It is not about Satan. It is not about witches and wizards. It is about disalignment. It is about rebellion. It is about pride and lack of meekness. It is about inconsistency. Hallelujah. I challenge you in this place. There is a realm, a path which no fowl has seen. Job said, the whelps of the lion has not gotten there. By the grace of God and all honor to the glory of God. This great ministry God is building with his own hands. is being built by wisdom. It's not built by luck. It's not built by guess. Did you know while I was seated here and the worship team were ministering. Some of you would have noticed I was in an open vision almost all through the worship time. And I was seeing the tent. That's the next level of the ministry. I was seeing the tent I was seeing everything and I was watching some of the same people some I didn't see them somewhere they're still doing worship the sound everything and I was just in that atmosphere it's not like I was watching I was there so how can I now get up and lie to you that I'm discouraged that's what I'm trying to tell you it will be a lie you see what do you know that gives you confidence 
Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. He says, I fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me. Then he says, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. They comfort me. Koinonia, I bring you a word tonight. Your project of transformation must be taken seriously. The same way you put a building project, you must transform it. There is almost no koinonia message that is not in my system. As those who are close to me, I listen to it all the time. My phone is full of messages. I'm listening. I don't trust my mistakes. I don't trust my errors. I have God has helped me, but I'm still a long way to go compared to where I'm coming from and compared to where he's taking me. Thank God! But compared to where Christ is taking me and taking this ministry, we are only one step out of the cave. So while on one side, I can pat my shoulders and say, well done, transformation continues. I don't have time for distraction. I don't listen to nonsense. Not rubbish gist, not rubbish movies, not rubbish shows. I don't have that time. There is an urgency. There is a generation depending upon my stability in the spirit. Are you ready to give yourself that kind of urgency? Hallelujah. Transformation. Tomorrow we are traveling. We are in Joss again for a meeting all through from there to Mina. We are traveling everywhere. All of those people are waiting to receive. Am I just going to keep giving them what I gave them last year, two years ago? Or am I going to come with something fresh from the throne? You don't receive from God the way you enter a fast food. No, you must pay attention. Allow his word change you. If you study your Bible just for preaching, you will not be an epistle of your message. It will be clear with time that your message has not become a persuasion. God is my witness. I believe this. I will die believing it. It is the principle upon which I run my life. It, is, it has nothing to do with me being spiritual. My entire life runs on this. I don't argue with it it is the template for my life i'm not just a christian because i'm going to heaven i'm not just a christian because i have ministry responsibilities this word is a lamp to my feet i use it like a torchlight taking myself out of darkness bringing myself to the way of light that's what has brought the anointing that's why i respect the holy spirit so much you hear me talk a lot about him. I'm not copying men of God. I'm not copying Benny Hinn or Catherine Kuhlman. He has revealed himself to me. He is the fountain of wisdom. He will give you wisdom that is bigger than your age. He will give you wisdom that is bigger than your background. I tell you, your weaknesses are swallowed up in his presence. Every limitation becomes uh, irrelevant when you stand with his wisdom now you see the trouble is you may not manifest what is showing you all at once so chances are that people will not take you seriously but give him time give him time give my god time give my god time i know this god there is no one like this god believe me i know what i'm saying there is no like my God, I love your ways and I love your word. There is no one like my God. There is no one like my God. There is no one like my God. I tell you sometimes I feel like busting tearing myself into pieces do you know why because I have seen God's system of justice my background may not be fair my parents may not have been fair on me are we together situations and circumstances may not be fair but the word of God is a neutralizer 
it vetoes everything and it balances your life I pray that you will believe what I'm saying I pray that you will have this passion and change your life and laugh at your mountains not pray about them laugh at them they are a mirage while we look at the things I'm telling you every mountain in your life trust me koinonia I know what I'm saying it's a mirage it's a mirage it's a mirage when David stood before Goliath I have a he said who is this uncircumcised not who is this mighty man he never called Goliath a mighty man he said who is this uncircumcised Philistine he said God who delivered me from the lion and the bear this day not tomorrow will give me your head he said I will throw you down I will use your own sword and I will give your head to the birds there is something you can see in the secret place see let me tell you something when you grow in confidence of the word there are some things you no longer will pray about believe me because sometimes your prayer is just a succor to manage your fears it becomes unnecessary you just lie down and sleep the boat was about capsizing Jesus was sleeping how could he die the resurrection and the life how could he die there was no possibility of death in him the disciples could die when he got up he looked at the storm and he said shalom be still koinonia i want your life to bear fruit please hear me i want your life to bear fruit many have walked this path they made mistakes they never got there but I'm glad to tell you there are some people who walked and went there. Though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. And this is the song we'll be singing forever. Holy is the Lord. Listen. Though we are few, but not many, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river. You are not the first to cross the river from lack to prosperity. You are not the first to be mightily used by God. The Bible is full of ordinary men. They have crossed that river and they left their footprints. He said, ask for the ancient paths. Don't guess. Millionaires have come and gone. There are billionaires that lost money and became beggars and rose back to become billionaires. They left their footprints. There are men of God who have lost members and came back to that status. There are men who have lost anointings and come back. There is nothing you want that somebody has not done before. Though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before one more time though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river listen the many may not come from your family in your family nobody has crossed that river but there are still those who have crossed it are you hearing what i'm saying anybody that tells you god cannot use a young man Though we are few, you're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. And this is the song you'll be singing for when you overcome. Holy is the Lord. When all the pain is over, holy is the Lord. When you finally break through to that place of destiny. They may mock you now, but continue with the word of God. They may not understand, but I'm telling you, you will have the last laugh. Trust me. Years ago, I was lying down on a mattress on the ground. And I said, Lord, 
I want to affect my generation. I want to change lives. I don't want to live like the people I've seen in my family and my background. I want to be different. And the Lord told me something. It was a secret. He said, son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. I have followed him closely. And today, in a measure, I have seen his faithfulness. He doesn't lie. We are just too impatient to wait for his word to come to pass. Believe me. Brothers and sisters, there are those who God has given marital breakthrough. You are not the first. There are people who have gotten access to the mysteries of the kingdom. Don't act like you are the first. It has happened before. William Seymour, Alexander Dewey, Catherine Kuhlman, M.F. McPherson. They are, they are the clouds of witness. Great men in Nigeria, Babalola, Archbishop Benson, Idahosa. There are so many. There are fathers of faith who are alive. Brothers and sisters, believe me, they crossed that river. Some of them went through all kinds of obstacles and they crossed it. He will bless you. Just pay attention. If you do this, I'm telling you, your life will change like night and day. Only praise can take you higher To the place where you can see the Father Face to face Oh, my life will never be small Sing one more time hey, Only praise can take me higher There are very successful people in this place listen you may see everybody here most people here are young people make no mistakes there are millionaires in this place not by prophecy i mean people now here and now not it will happen no there are people who are very anointed but we all bring ourselves here and humble ourselves to listen to the word you know why because god is changing people there are people seated inside outside doctors professors intelligent people but they have come your life will never be the same so when someone looks at you and says you are not growing spiritually don't even pray about it just leave the person time is a revealer time is a revealer time is a revealer some of you would not have believed what i'm telling you now if i told you 10 years ago years to come i'll still be saying what i'm saying but it will come with more results now and you will listen the bible says arise shine for your light is come he told us this is our year of multiplied grace and influence it's not a cliche ah when our backs were against the wall and it looked to see if it was over you made a way and we're standing here only because you made you move mountains you cause walls to fall with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible and we're standing here only because you made three keys very quickly to fruitfulness the first key is to treat fruitfulness as a command have an understanding that fruitfulness is not an opinion it's not an opinion that is left to your personal desire fruitfulness is a command fruitfulness is a command genesis 128 fruitfulness is a command anything that is not fruitful in your life is causing your life to be disobedient towards the word of god anything 
anything the moment you see your life not producing result in any aspect there is a spirit forcing your life to reflect obedience disobedience fruitfulness is a command barrenness is an attempt to make you violate that command number two the second key to fruitfulness is that obedience to kingdom principles will deliver the desired result it's not enough to have the understanding that is a command there are principles that compel your partnership with the word of god in order to get that result principles scattered through scripture are several principles that are responsible for certain manifestations of god's grace in our lives are we together praise god are we together now sorry about that obedience to kingdom principles will deliver desired result listen please wishing and crying helps you but it does not help your situation are we together now god is moved by your tears but he only responds to his word he is moved by your tears we do not have a high priest who cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity it's called compassion but for results to happen in your life you must activate the word the woman with the issue of blood had been crying but nothing happened but she said if i may but touch the helm of his garment obedience to kingdom principles for instance when it comes to finances your tithe your giving kingdom investments and the opportunity and the platform to provide value remain the irrefutable keys to wealth and abundance there is no theology around it are we together there is no magic and mysticism around it obedience to kingdom principles now most of us want miracles of fruitfulness listen we want miracles of fruitfulness in our lives but we are unwilling to pay that price of alignment there are people who are not consistent tithers they have an idea that tithing is um is a system men of god just corner the money and they enjoy it i mean that, that that is such a deception see how cheap you gave yourself to satan how much is what you are bringing for you to believe that is the reason why a man will compromise on his faith there are all kinds of theological ideas sponsored by the gate of hell that keep people poor are we together how about trusting and believing god to make you whole do you know there are people who do not believe listen listen there are people who do not believe in some of these testimonies you hear in the church maybe not in koinonia but in the body of christ when they hear something like fibro disappear they just look and say oh, we agree they don't lie let's clap you see we, we mock ourselves because we have so fraternized with unbelief it has become our template you never refuse to agree that the person was not born with the growth it came from nowhere you believe that one that it went back to where it came from you don't believe it are we together oh someone's genotype change or a woman gave birth to triplets and twins some of you where is the woman let her come let's see i must see with my own eyes you see let me tell you something do not over intellectualize spiritual things they are far beyond the realm of the intellect if you learn to believe god with childlike faith and say lord i know this is true when will you believe are we together honestly there are some of us we have never really believed anything truly you have only been aware that it happened but that conviction no i'm a believer oh, i believe god i believe god i'm a believer i'm a believer especially for those of us listen especially for those of us who 
who claim to be a light. We have allowed education to take the place of God. And then we want God to give you a science on how these things will happen. Are we together now? God, you need to show me how this will be this and produce this. And then God says, me? Give you that explanation? The Bible says, for as you do not know the way of the wind, nor how bones are formed in her that has a child, how a seed, a little seed from a man becomes the bones of a child that you cannot break with your hand. Explain that mystery. Say, so you do not know the way of God. Tonight, I want you to believe. Don't sit down asking, will this genotype really change? Will I really be delivered? Will God bless me just like that? I remember one time, people were joining the queue, I think some months ago, just to see me after service. And then um, a particular, I think it was a lady or so, just met me and she was ranting all her problems, what she felt, you know, she felt, look, I need special time. And I just touched her, I said, it's done. She said, no, no, you don't understand. I'm trying to, I said, it's done. What are all these long stories you are? It's done. I touched you, I said, it's done. Now, I know what her problem will be. Even if his pain is not on her head, you just touch me and say, it's done. That's how it works. It works at the speed of faith. The woman with the issue of blood did not touch the hands of Jesus. She touched the hem. Frankly, any part she touched would have produced the same result. It was never about what she touched. Are we together now? We have seen all kinds of testimonies just with one word. Just with one supernatural word. My neighbor then, I think she's somewhere here. She shared her testimony here. You've heard the testimony. Of the miracle that God did. Supernatural miracle. All kinds of devilish things. And they said all kinds of things were, you know, growing and all of that in her stomach. It came out. It passed out like a woman gives birth to a child. That's how it came. Oh, come on. See, this God, eh? Miracle worker. You are the miracle worker. Would you come and do a miracle? A miracle today. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. One of the strategies of Satan in this season is to plant nonsense in the bodies of ladies. Very healthy lady, eating well. The moment she's about to marry, they will tell you something is wrong. Ovarian cyst, fibroid somewhere, or they will say the womb has disappeared. Are we together? Fashions of stories. Sincerely communicated by well-meaning doctors. But that's a manipulation somewhere. Are we together now? To an extent, some of you ladies now are looking at me. You are even afraid. You are not even sure. You see all kinds of people. Even if you are prophesying about finances, they are laying hands on their womb and say, Lord, my own is not money. Just make sure that I give birth. When has a good thing become a thing of fear? Are we together now? And then the, the one that surprises me is the concept of impotency. Where they say a man, no, 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 no. That concept is a mirage plus plus. You better disbelieve it. Gentlemen, listen. Gentlemen, listen to me. Don't ever, don't ever, I say it again, allow anything to convince you that there is such a possibility like that it is it is it is an advanced form of witchcraft in the life of any man are we together now don't think i'm just talking i know what i'm saying what you tolerate you will never change what you give flimsy excuses for you it will never leave you Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight I want you to challenge yourself. And tell yourself I must have testimonies. Fruitfulness is a command. Number two, obedience to the principles of the kingdom is required to deliver your desired result. The last point I will give us and then we will pray. Is that in many cases warfare slash deliverance may be required to receive your testimony. Now, you better believe this. 
in many cases obadiah 117 in many cases warfare slash deliverance may be required to receive your testimony that's not because you are a witch that's not because you are a wizard away with that imbalanced communication to think that the moment devils are casted out of lives and people it means that they are possessed no not at all not at all not at all and the way with that wrong understanding a believer cannot be possessed but a believer can be greatly influenced your faculties can come under siege siege that will look like you are possessed of devils make sure that the construction of your belief is based on the word of God so that you don't shortchange yourself of certain possibilities look at me there are many of us here seated looking at me there are spirits sitting comfortably upon our lives and destinies every time things are not going well in your life and you do the best you can to keep certain kingdom principles then i want you to know that you are not alone in that system there is a stranger attempting to add to the equation something you did not add if you keep quiet that's how your life will go warfare deliverance contending with the powers that be satan will not let you go just because god said to it takes force a popular scripture that has become our anthem in this place psalm 66 verse 3 how terrible art thou in your ways he said through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves not through the greatness of your discussion it takes power don't see listen you are you are coming from a family with transgenerational witchcraft i know you are in christ but listen satan does not care all that grammar is none of his business it, you have to prove you are in christ by taking advantage of the power that came through christ to put him where he belongs he says satan he said god had put all things under his feet speaking of man he said but as it is now we do not yet see all things under his feet faith is not foolishness you must summon the courage to confront things that have refused to go oh in the name of jesus christ i'm born again up this and that and that but you are seeing all of you you are seeing patterns that reflect a healthy living of wicked spirits jesus did not hide the fact that we are influenced perpetually by all kinds of spirits in our world who attempt to compromise on our testimony it was god's servant bishop oyedeko that shared how that when the ministry started great ministry now touching people across africa and the world but then when they started people would not just come pastor for whatever reason a very anointed man signs and wonders epochal revelations but people would not come and one time they were praying engaging in warfare intense warfare in the place of prayer and the holy spirit asked him to come out and he came out and then after he had moved a distance the holy spirit told him turn and face you know look at the building and all of that and then he saw a thick layer covering it and this was what the lord told him he said this is the stronghold that makes people to misrepresent your ministry everything you do they see it in a bad light and he commanded it to go and it left and all of a sudden there was there was explosion kenneth e hagin teaching on his encounter with jesus his book about his encounter with jesus he gave a very dramatic scenario that happened between him and jesus he said at a point when the lord jesus christ appeared to him jesus was talking to him and was giving him some instructions all of a sudden a devil like an imp a short devil just appeared in between them and was jumping up and down you know distracting kenneth hagin kenneth hagin said he thought jesus christ being there would stop that spirit from coming yet the spirit was there jumping up and down and jesus kept talking he seemed unaffected by whatever the demon was doing but kenneth hagin was affected and jesus kept speaking kenneth hagin said it worried him for a long time until he got angry in his spirit 
and the holy spirit gave him a strategy and he commanded that spirit he said in the name of jesus i rebuke you and he felt and and left and this was what jesus told him according to kenneth Hagin. he said if you did not do anything about it i would not have done anything all that it is to be done i have done how can i is nonsense the day you get up you the best way to predict your future is to create it create it create it don't sit down waiting for it to come create it listen i don't believe in circumstances i create any circumstance i want i create it the bible tells us that the word is framed framed frame your world your environment your reality is framed by the word of god Obadiah 1 17 it says and upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness then it says the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions standing between the sons of Jacob and their possessions are gates forces fraternities covenants of darkness that attempt to sabotage the liberty of God's people. And then he says that there shall be deliverance. Deliverance is not falling down necessarily. It's not just manifesting and coughing out things. No. The context of deliverance is a platform that creates a separation on a legal basis. Between you and any force that keeps you bound. Are we together? There are things that have held our lives brothers and sisters and it must let us go you must believe this don't sit down I'm, I'm telling you this thing so you don't sit down and waste your time i came with my spirit angry we're going to deal with the issue of the fruit of the womb extensively but then i want you to know the reason why the door has not opened is because there is a spirit sitting somewhere and i tell you if you let those spirits they will wreck your life wreck your life there are pastors whose churches have refused to grow. And they think they preach well. They are anointed people. They are great people. But there are all kinds of forces. Brothers and sisters, wickedness is real. The Bible tells you the whole world lies in wickedness. Don't say I didn't do anything to anybody. The condition to be vulnerable to oppression is that you are born. Once you arrive here, that's all. You, you are in the middle of a story that predates your existence. So as you come, you just join in the whole thing. Don't you think you have to come up with a fresh trouble? No. It is there before you arrived. Have you not seen children hated for something their parents did before they got married? And they look at you and while they are insulting the man, they say, who is this? You say, my name is David. Who's, you are his child. You are the idiot like him. You just inherited an insult. Just because you were associated with a man while they were making that trouble you were in the loins of eternity and now you came and participated tonight i want you to believe god i want you to believe god brothers and sisters there's enough grace and unction for you to receive the miracle i believe in breakthrough breakthrough is a mystery that gives men speed where limits are taken kabbalataya limits are taken limits are taken limits are taken limits are taken i don't know what has held you down you must break this limit don't sit carelessly looking some of you have some results we all have different results but is that the best god can fast track your life that between now and december 31st he will put a new song in your mouth a song of praise in your heart he said many will see and fear and put their trust in him hallelujah and time will fail me to speak of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak men who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought the mouth of, of lions shot the mouth of lions wrought righteousness let's look at one scripture Romans 4 18 I just want to touch a little on this issue of believing and faith we just finished a series on faith please i encourage everyone as god grants you grace make sure you get those series and listen to them but i just want to challenge our faith a little even as we prepare to pray 
There's such a strong anointing in this place tonight. Jesus. Hallelujah. Such a strong anointing. I'm hearing footsteps. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit. Footsteps. And the Holy Spirit is telling me he's the one walking to people's lives. I'm hearing footsteps. No, 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 no. I, I believe me. Just, just, just believe me. Just walk with me. I'm hearing footsteps right now. God will not let me continue. He's walking to someone's life right now. Right now. I'm hearing footsteps in the spirit. I'm still hearing footsteps. And the Holy Spirit is telling me this is his footsteps. He's walking to someone's life. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. I don't know where those people are. But right now their stories must change. Must change. God is not even waiting for me to finish preaching. Something is happening here. A change of stories. Something must change. Something must change. Something must change. Something must change. Something is happening right now. How forcible are right words. Footsteps. I still hear these footsteps. I still hear these footsteps in my ears. And God is saying he's giving people testimonies. It's like the spirit of God walking. Walking. He will meet you where you are. He will meet you where you are. Sit down. Sit down. Let's finish up. Romans 4 verse 18. Just sit down. The waters has been stirred. I just want to give you an understanding on faith. You have a role to play. Listen please. You have a role. Don't worry about what is happening. You have a role to play. Please hear me. You have a role to play. You have a role to play. You're not going to sit down and just expect to be healed. You have a role to, be, to play. Lift your hands, gentlemen. You raising your hand. I see an angel pouring oil on your head. That's what I'm seeing right now. Something looking like oil. That's what I see. I don't even know you. But in the name of Jesus Christ, receive that anointing right now. <sighs> My spirit is fired up. I feel this thing on me now. I feel this thing on me now. I feel this anointing on me now. I feel this thing on me now. It's the anointing that comes to the office. I feel it on me right now. A lady with a breast lump, a lady with a breast lump has just been healed right now. Check yourself. Check yourself. A lady with a breast lump, the left side of your breast, 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 the, left side of your breast. the power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The Bible says, Who against hope? Against hope have taught us. Against hope means in spite of the obstacles believed. Who against hope? I told you the starting point of faith is the presence of an obstacle. It is not unusual to see obstacles. There is a system to take care of them. That system is based on your conviction. Backed up by understanding. That compels you to take action. The name of that action is faith. Not the name of the believing. Believing is not faith. Believing is restful confidence. Based on an understanding. The end product of believing is conviction. When you act it. The name given to that action is faith. Listen, you can hear the most anointed word if you do not mix it with faith. Be 
convicted that this is the word of God and then be ready to take steps so if you are here and you cannot stand be ready to stand don't just sit down saying well let's see what will happen you will go back home on that wheelchair you are deaf you are blind whatever it is genotype whatever make sure you are angry in your spirit a door has refused to open make sure that you receive there are many faith actions praise and celebrating God is an action that's how you water whatever you sow listen Jesus said and I've corrected it here I've taught us he said if you have faith as a monster seed I've told you it's not the size if you have faith and your faith works like a monster seed a monster seed is sown that means if you can plant your faith and create an environment for it to grow in the similitude of a monster seed then you can say to this mountain he was not talking about the size of faith if you have faith and you have understood how to make it operate like a monster seed then you will do great things Are we together tonight i want you to refuse that any force of darkness holding your destiny will go back with you i want you to refuse listen listen there is grace for increase i feel it in this place i, I just want you to believe me you know sometimes it's difficult communicating things to people because some we live in an environment of such unbelief i know the grace for increase listen increase is an unction honor is a mantle it can come upon a man you can carry it bodily don't sit down and just waste your time you may not be sick in your body but there is an encounter that produces a possibility upon your life listen i told you creation has never been disobedient something on you or not on you is what compels the response of creation an anointing is like a mantle it works like a charm when it is upon your life that anointing speaks is a language it will make creation respond to you in a certain way that's what you call favor that's what you call breakthrough don't sit down asking can i get a job that's a very foolish question very foolish question don't sit down asking can god make a way in the wilderness my god my god my god ah Don't sit down asking, can I get the child? No. What you should be asking is, can I get the twins or triplets? Not, can I get the child? Are we together? You are here tonight because you are trusting God to do something in your life. Face the business that brought you and be serious. Don't sit down laughing at others, criticizing others. Others will be taking radical steps of faith. Don't sit down there being cynical, laughing at them no connect and open up your spirit man of god open up for your ministry there can be more there can be more there can be more the pressure of ministry will kill you if you continue going the way you are going there is a system that builds you out even favor let me tell you this favor that we think is very free there are laws there is an unction that brings favor it is a manifestation of favor that is effortless but there is a system an exact system a science to its coming into your life hallelujah don't sit here and allow the over 40,000 or so people following online who are receiving and getting blessed and their lives are changing and you are here seated and you are wondering can God change me are you not seeing don't you see his signature all over listen there are three platforms for us to receive in the kingdom i'm rounding up now there are three platforms for reception i've taught this but let me just touch it quickly the first platform for reception is an encounter with the presence of god when you meet god the presence of god alone listen will leave certain deposits it's like an intercourse between a man and his wife there is a transfer so when you meet god there is a deposit listen 
The second platform for reception is through your understanding and your application of the principles of the kingdom. There are dimensions of the power of God that has been vested in laws. You don't have to pray. The moment the laws are accurately um, operated, the power is released immediately. You don't have to be a Christian. But the third dimension, listen, the third dimension of reception is by tapping into the covenant a man has with God. Listen. Men enter covenants with God that represents platforms for certain possibilities to find expression. Either through their personal press or through the office they represent and the possibilities it brings. Listen to me. You will never touch prosperity ignoring Abraham. Abraham entered a covenant with God that became the platform to see that dimension of God work in your life. There are men today who have covenants with God answers to prayer is not just by their personal faith their altar is a mystery and others can tap into that mystery through honor and receive results that are above and beyond your current level of believing God when when Saul came where Samuel was just that atmosphere implicated him he prophesied all kinds of things happened to him You need to understand that territories, human beings represent systems in the kingdom. And not there are certain audacious statements that when God makes, he's not just waiting for your personal faith. He creates the platform for receiving those miracles upon a covenant. Are we together now? God entered a covenant with Abraham. Is that true? And then Abraham slept with Hagar and then had Ishmael. Is that true? They were at the wilderness crying. Two of them were crying. God only had the cry of Ishmael. Why? Because Ishmael was Abraham as far as the covenant was concerned. So God could not listen to Hagar, but he had the voice of the Lord crying. And because of that, he came. Let me tell you, this ministry you see like cobwebs is an encapsulation of mysteries and covenants mysteries and covenants agreements with god that become the platform for certain possibilities to happen i want you to leverage on those advantages and cheaply tap into certain things tonight you are not alone there is grace for you rise up on your feet you are mighty in this place You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are mighty. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. Say na 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 na. You are mighty in this place. Faithful God. Hallelujah. minute before we begin to minister I want you to lift your voice and tell God everything you desire for him to do don't keep quiet don't say God knows open your mouth Lord step into my finances Lord step into my business Lord step into my family faithful God hallelujah Seke para da bato sobra de bala. Lord, take away the.
the barrier that is stopping my doors from opening take away the barrier oh god stopping my influence enlarge my course answers prayers Lord I must take my testimony tonight I'm tired of this fibroid it dies this night this night it must go this night not tomorrow Lord favor must land upon my life I'm tired of struggling Favor must come upon my life. Those online, make sure you are praying. The anointing of the Spirit will reach you where you are. You reign, you reign, hello, him, you reign. hallelujah the Lord is starting tonight with an impartation don't bring them out I am seeing the Lord speaking to me and he's saying there is an unction for divine strategies and it's coming on 21 people 21 people I stretch my hands right now I stretch my hands right now receive that impartation 21 people divine strategies the wisdom of God receive it that idea, Kato Sotoya, divine idea. Someone has been praying, Lord, show me the way. Here it comes. The anointing brings it. Help them, please. The anointing brings it upon your life. 21 people. The Lord shows me. 21 people. An impartation. Supernatural strategies. 
Alléluia. 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 I'm going to begin to minister now. But the Lord the Lord is speaking to me. Listen. Listen. The Lord is speaking to me. And this is a mystery. God wants to use two people for a prophetic word. Two people. Listen. Two people for a prophetic word. Two people. Play mic. Something supernatural is happening. Ah. The Lord is taking me in the spirit and I'm seeing a map. Get ready, please. I'm seeing a map in the spirit of Nigeria and I'm landing in Kaduna state. I see an anointing touching Kaduna people now. Right now, right now, right now. By the spirit of God, Kaduna state. Kaduna state. I see an anointing. Only Kaduna state. Shabarapakata. Embreketeta. Kaduna State, a miracle happening for Kaduna people. Southern Kaduna, Southern Kaduna, there is an anointing. There is an anointing. God is bringing breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough. Hallelujah. I don't know why God does this. Brothers and sisters, don't ask me. Don't ask me. This is an operation. It's called the Ministry of Signs and Wonders. Now I see Benway State. Benway State. I see an anointing on Benway State. Now, an anointing on Benway State. Benway State. Shakatoda Parata. Reketekete. Help them, please. Benway State. You can't stand it. You don't have to know whether you don't know your state. Benway State. Miracles. Miracles. Go into Benway State. I hear or to go in the spirit. A miracle happening right there. Right there. All those connected to that bloodline. There is a miracle for you right now. Don't trivialize what is happening here, brothers and sisters. These are territorial breakthroughs. Territorial breakthroughs. Hallelujah. 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 I'll pray for the, Stephanie. 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 I'm hearing a name. Stephanie. Please let's save time. Who is Stephanie? You're like a red dress or something like that. Stephanie. Who is that? Stephanie. There is a Stephanie I'm seeing. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing someone. And in the vision, the Lord is showing me it's like a red dress, but I'll pray for you. Lift your hands. The Lord says I should tell you witchcraft ends in your family. Witchcraft ends in your family. You will hear testimonies that will surprise you. Right now, I stretch my hands towards you. Now, it ends by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Johanna. 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 I'm hearing a name, Johanna. Please save our time, Johanna. I don't know who that person is. Johanna, I won't continue speaking like this because we have to be fast. Johanna, 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 Johanna. Whether you're here inside or outside. Johanna, Johanna, Johanna. There is a lady following us from Lagos. Your name is Blessing. Your name is Blessing. You are in a room. You are following from a laptop. The Lord is saying I should tell you he's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. He's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. I want to pray. 
I tell you, I feel fire in this place. It's time to command deliverance. It's time to command deliverance upon the forces of darkness that have tied our lives. Forces of darkness. The Lord is bringing deliverance to your family. Your family. The Lord is bringing deliverance. I'm seeing a plot of witchcraft over his family and the Lord is bringing deliverance right now right now to the family right now to the family the Lord is bringing a major deliverance to the family a major deliverance to the family hallelujah listen listen as I begin to pray for you all those devils that has tied the lives of people it doesn't mean you are possessed it's not an insult you may not even know you may be minding yourself just like you're standing now i'm going to command those devils they must go they are not only going to live your life they must live your family are we together listen some of you brought many prayer lists just one spirit living will produce all that testimony believe me believe me lift your hands my heart my soul I give to you I bow to you my Savior and King lift your hands thank you Jesus father thank you for your anointing to deliver to set free there are spirits in this place sitting on the lives and the destinies of people and in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ they must go I want you to bring them out now they must go they must go now at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus you'll be surprised to see what happens kai 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 i see spirits of delay 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 spirits that have held men down all kinds of spirits father in the name of jesus at the count of three lord as your people shout may this shout reverberate in the realm of the spirit and may it bring breakthrough 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 flowing sound my flowing sound in the name of Jesus one two three shout Jesus now I command those demons go now go now go now Kato Sotoba lift your voice and begin to command every spirit every devil help them please go now I command every spirit of witchcraft that has tied the lives and the destinies of people you must go now inside and outside I command you inside and outside bring them out I command you by the power of the Holy Ghost lift your voice I command you you must go now now by the anointing of the spirit their destinies release their destinies release their breakthrough lift your hands while still praying atasile ka prosuto pariata kotusha prende ka brato sokoto bale yakata i'm seeing gates and i'm seeing chains on them and the lord is saying to unlock those chains unlock those chains that anointing will come on certain people right now father i decree and declare in the name of jesus wherever they are any place in your life that has been chained and tied right now in jesus name i command those gates be open be open be open be open be open by the anointing of the holy ghost chains chains be broken Ushers, please. Chains be broken in the name of Jesus. Chains be broken. Be broken. Kalapatoshaya. Release their destinies outside. The Holy Ghost is touching people outside. I see a wind of fire touching people by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Every enchantment, every enchantment, every witchcraft against the lives of people 
against destinies. You must go now. Mr. Man, lift your hands. This man, lift your hands. The Lord is saying I should tell you that your breakthrough begins this night. Right now, receive that anointing. Receive that anointing right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bring them out. I'm hearing the name Charity. Charity, we have to be very fast because I want to focus on barren people right now. Charity, Charity. 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 I'm hearing the name Charity. Charity. The Lord wants to bring breakthrough for Charity. The second overflow. There are two people God is touching there. The second overflow. I see the anointing coming on two people. The overflow, the roadside. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Something is going to happen here. Now, ushers, I want you to be sensitive. I'm going to pray for certain people. You will have to help them. The grace for speed, listen, is going to come on some people. Physically, they will find themselves trying to run, help them. So that it's not like they won't be able to control themselves. It's a prophetic act by the spirit. So that they don't enjoy anybody. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Guys, be sensitive, please. In the name, help them, please. It's already happening. That's the instruction God is giving me. An anointing will come on you. Physically, you will begin to demonstrate your breakthrough. Right now, Lord, I release that anointing. Give men speed. Give men speed. Give men speed. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. Give men speed. Run like Elijah. Help them. Run like Elijah. Help her. Help her. Run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. Grace for speed. I release it. I release it. From my spirit. I release it. Grace for speed. No more stagnation. No more retrogression. Run with the grace of Elijah. Overtake the chariots of Ahaz. Hallelujah. Charity. Charity. Are you married? The Lord wants to give you two miracles. Huh? Number one, God wants to settle you maritally. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Second, what are you doing? I just finished school. I'm a graduate now. Huh? I'm a graduate now. You are a graduate? Yes, sir. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing Abuja. Huh? Yes, sir. Abuja? Yes. What is Abuja? I have a fiancé. Yeah, you have yeah. somebody there. Yes. Sir. That's the person to marry you. Okay, Did you sir. tell me? No, sir. Did you tell me? No. That's what I'm telling you. I'm looking at you. I said God will settle you Amen. maritally. Amen. Huh? And then God will give you a job. Amen. Supernatural job. Amen. Because it's your desire. Amen. God will give you a job. Amen. The Lord is saying I should prophesy to you. I'm opening a new chapter over your life. The past. Uh -uh, your future has to change. It, the, what the past is, is not a good testimony. And the Lord is saying, I'm giving you a new chapter. A new chapter. Come my dear, in the name of Jesus. God is giving you a job. May he connect you maritally. Huh? Is your name Charity? Is your name Charity? In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Delay ends now. Delay ends now. I pray for your auntie. Let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I minister to one more case. Before I pray. I want to pray specifically. For barren people. I'm going to pray that before. We'll do a lot of other things. Before we call the sick out. Thank God there are many hands today. And so we're able to do a very quick walk. 
Ladies, when I count three, just shout, I receive. Don't worry. Follow me and do my stupid thing. Are you ready now? One, two, three. There is an opening. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. Many people are entering it. I see it. It's a door breakthrough. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. Shalom. Shalom. Jehovah. Shalom. Shalom. You're mighty in this place. I tell you, if, if God would open your eyes to see the breakthroughs that I see being released to people in the realm of the spirit, doors, strange doors. I told you there is grace for increase. There is grace for increase. There is grace for increase. The language tonight is more, 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 more. There is more, more anointing, more grace, more unction, more wisdom. There is more. There is more in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please drop your hands. The Lord is leading me to pray for brothers. Lift your hands. You'll be surprised to see what will happen to you now. The Lord wants to release grace for establishment. Listen, there is such an anointing. Don't be foolish. Receive it. Receive it with all your spirit. There is a spirit, especially in this side of the north. Men get established very late. Very late. Very late. You make money late. You build a house late. It's a bad spirit. God wants to release something. Those online, you can follow. I want to pray. I, I see this thing falling on many men Jesus it is your word you have released this word I put authority upon this prophecy and I declare let it enter like an arrow into the life of men right now take it receive that grace right now receive it in the name of Jesus at the count of three one two three take it now take it now help them grace grace strange establishment doors opening doors opening in their own accord help them doors opening i put you in a platform spiritually where you experience speed and establishment in the name of jesus help them please so they don't enjoy themselves my god be established be established be established be established. I lose your hands. I untie your hands. Every brother here, I untie your hands. Be established by the Spirit. Be established by the Spirit. Go and buy that land by the Spirit. Go and build that house by the Spirit. I open strange doors. Don't say you are too young. It's an anointing. It's not your effort. Receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now leave those who are standing here very quickly. If you are here specifically, please listen. You are here specifically trusting God to stamp the feet of Satan in your family over the issue of children. You know, God announced beginning of October that the theme for this miracle service, you've had the testimonies. Please don't say they have prayed for me before. Don't allow that unbelief destroy you. Are we together? While you are coming, there is a lady who will shout under the anointing. It is the grace that will release this grace for fruitfulness. It's a loud shout. It will be loud enough for everyone to hear. By the Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we give you praise. That's the shout there. That's the shout by the Spirit. 
there is an anointing to pray for the barren come please all those whether man woman if you are married look don't come out here if you are not married why are they here why are they all here you must be married except if you are standing in for someone don't stand here doubting there is an anointing i see a river some of you as you are standing right now the power of god will come on you just before i even start praying yeah. look at this will you open up the cave open up the door Will you open up the gate? Open up the doors. Lift your voice in one minute and sing it from your heart. Will you open up the gate? For you by myself that's the instruction i will do it very fast you don't have to tell me any stories i don't care what they said low spam count um infertility i don't care the report as you receive that touch if you are standing for someone call them let them know you are praying for them are we together now don't just say i receive and then you stand there let the people know what god is doing i'll have to do this very fast after that we'll pray for the sick generally we have a lot to do don't lose touch of this don't come for koinonia and then sit down this is not a museum let your heart be connected because there are different things happening in the realm of the spirit i'm going to be very fast i'm seeing listen i'm seeing something like a bird is jumping out of a lady now one person here i don't know who that person is but the lord is asking that until that happens like a bird that's what i'm seeing father in the name of jesus who is that person let there be that miracle right now it's like something will just leave you just leave you just leave you and release you and release you by the power of the holy spirit now as i pray for you many of you strange things will happen some of you are standing for other people but as i pray for you god is securing something in your life you don't have to come out please if you do not belong to this category that's the lady i'm talking about now i'll pray quickly just give us um uh, uh, keys just play something very quickly father in the name of jesus let everyone here return with a miracle child No matter what the spirit is, no matter what the issue is, fibroid, infertility, low sperm count, whatever, I don't care what the name is, it must live right now. In the name of Jesus, please shift very quickly. As I lay my hands on you, it is done. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Now, go and carry your miracle child. Madam, carry your miracle baby. Carry it now. Carry it now. My God, I tell you, I see babies literally in the realm of the spirit. Carry it now. Carry it now. Shabaratosia. Carry it right now. Carry it right now. Miracle. 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 Shatadadadabalada. Regete, gete, gete. There is an unusual grace here. There is an unusual grace. Unusual grace. Unusual grace. Unusual grace. As I lay my hands on you, it is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. Heal now. Open up the gates in the name of Jesus. Grace, grace, grace. Shabaladabaladaba. Reketekete. Embrotokotobaladabaladaba. Shabaladabaladaba. Grace, grace, grace. Help them please. Let's save time. Grace, receive your miracle, baby. My God, my God, testimonies, wombs opening, fertility be restored. Receive it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. By the anointing.
anointing of the Holy Ghost. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Quickly, please. In the name of Jesus. 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 Return with the miracle child. 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 No barrenness. Out. Out now. Release her now. Now. Out. Out of her. Return with your child. Miracles. 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 In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing twins in the realm of the spirit. The Lord is showing me twins. Somebody is carrying twins. Out. Let her go now. I command that spirit. Release her in the name of Jesus. Release her right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let it be open. In the name of Jesus. Grace. 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 Shebara no bara 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 bara. Take it. 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 The Lord is healing irregular menstruation. Irregular menstruation for one woman is being healed right now so that you can carry your baby. Receive your child out, out of her. Now, return with your miracle child. Now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, it ends now, 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go now. Keep praying in the spirit, don't just watch miracles, miracles. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles. The Lord is anointing you. Receive that anointing now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Grace, grace, grace. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace, 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 grace. Open. Open now. Open now. I see a womb that is closed. Open now. Shaka para do kato kate le ba 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 ba. Embrete koto. Leke te kota shike. Shike te ke te ke te. Rapa do koto shike te le mosh. Embrete kato la ba 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 ba. I declare it done. While I'm praying for you, I want a woman to come up. Yes. I'm seeing a woman who is pregnant. You have been having nightmares. Somebody comes to you in the night. You have you even wake up shouting. You've not been able to sleep. There is a pregnant woman here with that situation. God wants to set you free. Please, where are you? If you care for you, can come and God will set you free right now. You are pregnant, but I'm seeing you having very bad dreams. Like a nightmare. Madam, look at me. You are standing for yourself. For someone. Ah, 
Ambroto Subroto Shobre de Gere Balaraba. Ah, hallelujah. Kai, I'm seeing something that is not nice. I need to pray for a lady here. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. I don't know if you have the courage. If you have the courage, I can pray for you. Please don't be embarrassed. This is a family. Something like a living thing. It almost looks like a physical living thing, like a worm or like a snake. Literally comes out of your private part. It comes out and goes back. This is like a, a living, a real object. Please, who is that? I have to pray for you. Like I said, if you have the courage, there's nothing to be ashamed. What, who is this one? Why is she here? Coughing out? No, no, no. Don't bring her. In Jesus' name, you're okay. Come. In Jesus' name, it is done. The Lord sets you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I need to pray for that lady. Honestly, this is a serious thing. In fact, it's not just one. I'm seeing two of you. Come and stand here. Something, it looks like a worm, but it's bigger than it. You see it. It comes out and goes back on its own. Who is that? You're the one. God bless you for your courage. Can you celebrate her? Don't be afraid. See, look, let me tell you. This is this is like a spiritual hospital. So this is not a place. Immediately I saw it. Even me, I honestly, I my body was doing me one kind, but I thought you have to say it. this is bad. It's like a doctor. Madam, Kai. And you love God. Oh. Don't be afraid. Huh? Do you know this thing? Where are you from? Because I'm looking at you. You are supposed to be a very great woman. I look at you and I see somebody. Ah, this is strange. I'm seeing. Let me show you what I'm seeing. I'm looking at this and I'm seeing witchcraft from Delta State. I'm seeing you, but I'm seeing a white woman. I'm seeing a white woman, but I'm seeing you. And the Lord is telling me that you speak like a white woman. That's the vision that I'm seeing. Say Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. I didn't know that. Look at me. My dear, look at me. Because I'm seeing this. You look far, far, far older than your age. Somebody even see you and say, Mommy, there's no mommy anything. You need prayers because you too, are you married? You are trusting God for a life partner. It's even why you came here. Look at this. The devil is a liar. See, I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of the waster. That will want your life to keep going without achievement i'm praying for you now may that devil live your life forever in the name of jesus the spirit of a waster lives your life forever in the name of jesus i use her as a point of contact this is a nice woman she didn't bargain for this and she loves god are you seeing that now who knows probably you were trained by white men or she speaks very intelligently but everything grounded hold my hand man to a point that that do you know what it means another object did you plant an object in your body comes out through you at will goes back at will for those of you who think witchcraft is not real you are joking you are watching one right now not pile oh i'm not talking of pile Hold my hands, man. I'm angry in my spirit. In the name of the Lord God that I serve, I speak to you from the depth of my spirit. Right now, I command that devil, let her go now. Out! Out! In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands on your stomach. I command that wicked spirit, whatever your name is, don't only leave her, pack your load with you. And go out of this woman's life. I restore you even physiologically. In the name of Jesus Christ. This old face is not your own. You are not that old. I change it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her. Give Jesus praise. Father, thank you. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. It's over. Over in the name of Jesus. Over in the name of Jesus. It's over in the name of Jesus. There's one mama here. 
the anointing of the spirit is going to come upon you for praying for barren people there's one mama here i'm seeing in a vision the power of god will land on you 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 may not even be expecting it not everybody this, this is an, like an elderly woman but i'm seeing an anointing right now wherever you are father something will land it's like fire it will land on one mama now supernatural grace you will start laying hands on the sick oh that's the woman there help her help her please bring her here supernatural anointing supernatural anointing for the for barrenness look at this look at this this is an elderly woman for god's sake Shera taba roto koto baradia, lembra bata tatso kedia, ekara taka tala totia. Father, take her to that level. I stand upon this apostolic and prophetic grace and I bring you to that realm. Release miracles to women in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, please help her. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural. Supernatural. Daddy. Why is he here? Why is our daddy here? Who brought him out? You came on your own, sir? For barrenness? You? Where is your wife, sir? He's here, but I can't locate her. Madam, come. You will see a man like, hold my hand, sir. You will see a man like this and think he has a child. You have a child? You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Yes. How old are you, sir? Don't be embarrassed. You are 57. You will still have your child. Where is your wife? Wife? Is she here? Is the wife here? She's not here. You are not sure. She's around here. You are sure she's around? Yes. Madam, if you are around, please, I want to pray for you and your husband. Otherwise, um, we can just pray and continue, please. So that we don't waste time. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. You can imagine the kind of oppression. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Your wife is not here. She's not coming out. Or is she under the anointing? Huh? Whose name? Maybe she doesn't want to come out. I hope she's not. She's here. What's her name, sir? Esther. Esther Atuluku. Please, you have had your name, madam. That's your husband calling you. Can you rush, please, so that we save time? Is she here? Is she outside? Otherwise, I'll just pray for him, please, so that we'll save time. There's a lot to do. Daddy, how long have you been married, sir? 32 years. 32 years. If you ever tell me wickedness is not real, if you ever tell me wickedness is not real, our daddy's children would have been married now with their own children. Ejimi, am I correct? Look at this. Abraham waited 25 years. Our daddy has waited 32 years. Sir, you came here by faith. You are our father here. And you did not feel embarrassed to come out and stand here. Look at me, sir. I want you to look at my eyes so that you will know that I'm the one that has told you. In the name of Jesus, I don't care whether your wife has passed menopause or not. I don't care whether she can give birth or not. I decree to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hand, sir. You will not have a child. You will have children. Listen, sir. I'm not saying God told me to tell you. I am telling you. There is something called a prophet's reward. In the name that is above all names, I speak over your life. That force of darkness that has vowed that you will not have continuity, I cancel it right now. Sir, you are struggling financially. I have to pray for you. God wants to open a door for you. I, I hope you are not embarrassed sir, that I'm talking to you. Please hold my hands. Jesus, please change our daddy's story. Let 32 years of barrenness come to an end now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Now, 
please we are going to be very fast you are here for yourself you are not married you are standing for something in the name of Jesus Christ supernatural miracle now we are going to be very fast you can see it's past 9 but there are so many things we need to do we are going to do two things at the same time all those who are here trusting God for any miracle any miracle aside from barrenness except if you have another thing I don't care what it is Please, you are going to come. There are men of God here who are going to lay hands on you very quickly. It's a miracle service. Now, look at this. I want you to organize yourself. Uh, those outside, oh, hold on, please, hold on. Overflow 2. Just walk right to the front. You don't have to come here. Overflow 2. The whole of those occupying the roadside, just walk right to the front of your, your stage there. Overflow 1 here, just walk right to the front here. All those who are here, you can just come out come out organize yourself you are sick or you are standing in for people Jesus listen if you are standing here for impartation go back please 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 don't make a fool of yourself we are going to pray for I know some of you just want me to touch you there's nothing wrong with you don't play games with God go back to your seat you will receive impartation some of you there's nothing wrong you just want in case if there's something I should still pray go back please we don't have that time are we together now I'm not joking please there is no time huh so those outside just obey instructions please some of you think i have to be the one to touch you that's unbelief i i spent time talking about faith here just walk outside stand there overflow look at how many people pastor for god's sake look at this look at how many people huh? almost everybody look at standing for somebody the devil wants to destroy people have you noticed that in the last one month there's been an outbreak of mysterious sicknesses. Someone will just get up in the morning and you cannot breathe again. That devil is a liar in the name of Jesus. And I also understand there's been mysterious accidents. You are minding your business. Car will jam you. Bike will jam you. We are going to take care of all those things today. It's called a miracle service. Now, this is what will happen. Please and please. Anybody who lays hands on you, just go back to your seat believing in faith. We don't have time to take testimonies. I know there are so many miracles. If we do that, we're going to spend time here. There are other things we need to do. Are we together now? So I will pray for you. You can see there are so many people. Uh, let's do it this way. Pastor Pete is with me here. So um, Pastor Pete. Ah, no, Ejimi, you know what? Ejimi, Pastor Femi, you can go outside. You can just handle that, that one there. Pastor Alpha. Pastor Alpha, Kenny and um mike please you handle that one benga you will join here me him and pastor Ejimi, and you and who you and pastor femi yes we are not just i don't think just because you are a pastor don't look at me i'm walking by the spirit i don't have to call you we are not playing games this is not about ministry there is grace are we together pastor alpha please outside kenny mike promise where's promise join Ejimi. promise femi and and pastor jimmy outside please just guide them protocol they, so that don't waylay anybody please behave yourself don't disturb anybody i'm here with pastor pete benga we're going to pray in the name that is above all names shout amen, amen. father we're standing in unity from three different points you have anointed this ministry to be a supernatural ministry and bring healing and miracles to your people lord every man of god represented here as we lay hands on your people it doesn't matter what the situation is let there be healing let there be deliverance in the name of jesus christ as we minister to you any spirit that is at work in your life must be casted out in the name of jesus christ please guys we have to be very fast so that we'll save time pastor sir Thank you so much. Worship, help us please. We'll be very fast. Now all those sitting and around, those online, just connect by faith. There's nobody touching you physically, but the Holy Ghost is there. He's representing us and he will touch you. While that is happening concurrently, please, your miracle, um, uh, your prayer request, pass it, ushers, if you can connect yourself. I know that there are not many of you protocol, you can help them, please. Pass your prayer request. 
if someone sent a text to you now, you can copy it quickly, please. Pass your prayer request. While laying hands on you, if they give you a prophetic word, receive it. Please, guys, don't waste time on one person. Let's just do it fast. Jesus will give you praise. I have no other God but you. Now. I have no other God but you. Right now. And you have done what no man has done. Please, as they pray for you, just quietly go back to your seat. Rejoice in. Go back to your seat. Check yourself. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say you have done what no man has done. By the power of the Holy Ghost. What no man has done. And you will do. What no man can do. And I have done.
make sure you sub make sure you're submitting your prayer requests make sure you're submitting your prayer requests and then when they pray for you you don't have to go back to another line once they pray for you i'd like you to believe you will see god is doing miracles pass your prayer requests I exempted Pastor Jakes for a reason 
the Lord gave me a word and then I'm going to give him and um, are we together now? Praise the Lord. There is an anointing that is going to release upon you now before before we come to prayer. I know there are people, how far have we gone, those outside? There's still a number of people. Okay, rise up on your feet, please, quickly. Jake. The Lord gave me an instruction to tell him to speak prophetically and release an anointing and a grace. Honestly, I don't know what anointing it is, but I want you to believe something heavy will come upon your life. Are you hearing me? Those outside, whether you are joining the line, they can still be praying for you while you receive this. It's going to be a very quick one. And then, um, ushers, please, let's have the request so that we can finish it because I, I'm still going to speak in your life and there will be some activations. Bless you, sir. Just lift up your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is no one like you, Jesus. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. Season for you. Uh, Aya. Oh, let bread your see from Beliete, Salioste. Some of my worship people here, the Lord will place upon you an unction for worship. A strong unction. David Dan, the Lord is going to be placing upon you an anointing. An anointing is to come upon you. Pare su pretinda ilo si predia. Rekito fiesta kila handa ha Bora kete shubelenda pragadose Rekete gabaka kokosho ke palagana Renda pa freia so palenda ha Resa profilesta kalionde Barasoko palagada I feel like the fire of God moving upon the ground It will come upon the feet of many now Upon the feet of many The fire of God will come upon your feet the fire of God will burn your feet. There's a fire a quickening. My God. Palio friesa kiata la ronte. Barus i cateli. Bo grakishti valande kalevose.
Tonight the Lord will open up portals for many as you sleep tonight. <laughs> Some of you have an experience of seeing a ladder as angels will ascend and descend bringing messages to you. Tonight, 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 tonight by the power of God's Holy Ghost. By the power of God's Holy Ghost. By the power of God's Holy Ghost. Jesus, we enthrone you. We proclaim you are standing here in the midst of Yeah, I sent the Lord's presence. <laughs> Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. And as we worship you, we build your soul. And as we worship you, we worship you. Jesus, and take, take your, your place. Place. We'll hurry up while the other ministers are busy ministering to the people outside. We're going to pray on the request now. Pastor Pete is going to lead us. Pastor Sajex, please help me since you're the only one here. We're praying for your request. I want you to believe God. Stretch your hands over this place. And I want you to begin to pray in the spirit, everybody. Stretch your hands. You are praying in the spirit. We may not be able to minister directly to everyone. But I want you to believe that God will touch you. Don't just stand watching. Make sure you pray. Stretch your hands. Those online, I want you to know that your requests are with us. We are laying hands by faith also. Those online, you are part of this. Stretch your hands right now as we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Father in your divine wisdom. When you wanted to communicate to us the mysteries of your will. Lord you wrote it down for us to read. In the same vein oh God. Your sons and your daughters gathered across the nations. Those that are here. Those that are across the world. From the internet. They have written their own requests, understanding the mystery of the scribes. That whatever is written has a spiritual significance. Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we release the angels that respond to the prayers of men. The angels in Revelation chapter 8, that burn those prayers as incense and they ascend to the throne room of God. Right now, by the power of God, let those angels move swiftly in the name of Jesus. An angel appeared unto Daniel and said, I have come because of your word. 
Father, let angels respond according to this request. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Nothing here written will go back unanswered. We prophesy in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that the prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Father, we are on our knees on this mountain, at this altar, bringing this request before the throne room of God. And the Bible says, he that goeth before the throne boldly shall come back, O God, with results and answers, and the grace and the mercies of God shall be released. Right now, we release grace. And Lord, we release mercy. In the name of Jesus. Every prayer written in this ground, upon this mountain, it is answered in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Aside from those that are still praying for peace, everybody rise up. Please rise up quickly. Rise up to receive a prophecy and the impartation. Two things we'll do at once, just two, three minutes, and then we're done. Please make sure you wait to the end of the service so that you listen to every announcement. I want to pray. We want to, every miracle service is a platform to activate grace. You have seen certain dimensions of God, but there's more. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you and I'll join it with the prophecy. This is the second to the last miracle service for the year. So don't be careless about it. Open up your spirit. There are people here who have been crying and say, Lord, I know there can be a new dimension of grace. I have seen your hand in my life, but I want to see a greater level. I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Drink of a new fountain of grace. Help him, please. Drink of a new fountain of grace. I activate the gifts of the spirit at the count of four. One, two, three, four. Step into it. Eyes be open, ears open. Receive impartations. Receive impartations. Receive grace, grace. Impartation in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The kind of favor that you have not seen from the start of this year till now. On this mountain tonight, I invoke it upon your spirit. May that favor come upon you. I call the heavens to bear witness that you are a carrier of favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Where it has worked for others and has refused to work for you, I declare the grace that makes things work the power of performance receive it right now receive it right now in the name of Jesus everything dead in your life I don't care what and I don't care how long in the name of the one who raised from the dead I command that thing to come back to life I prophesy that nothing dies in your hands I prophesy that nothing dies in your hands Tonight, like Pastor Jake prayed, revelations of strategies from the realm of the spirit. Receive it is coming on you. Receive it is coming on you. Receive it is coming on you. Supernatural impartation. I pray for you. Everyone here who wants to start a business, start a company, start something, any value adding platform. I prophesy upon you the spirit of influence may it come upon it the spirit of influence may it come upon it the spirit of influence may it come upon it every student here hear me I program your spirit to rise to a new dimension in the name of Jesus on common understanding on common illumination any final year student here who it looks as if you are not going from the look of things in the name of Jesus we change it here right now believe God we change it now we change it now we change it from your faculty 
we change it from your department by the authority of the kingdom in the name of Jesus anyone here carrying any track record of bad luck it works for others until it gets to your turn then there must be stories I separate you and bad luck forever. I separate you and tragedy forever. Hallelujah. This spirit that came to Zaria that is causing men to be sick, hear my voice. There is a platform where ambassadors are in this kingdom therefore i stand apostolically and prophetically we fortify the spiritual borders of this city and we punish such operations in the name of jesus may you and your kind be banished from this city in the name of jesus that spirit that brings accident and untimely death looming around our territory no 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 zaria is a place of light it's not the place where any spirit will come and loom and i speak prophetically Latera to Sotopata. across this place every spirit of untimely death hear my voice in the name of jesus i command the gates closed over you i command the gates closed over you not by accident not by bomb blast the gate closes over you everything that has left your hand that left your life that should not have left i don't care where it went to i call it back may it gather its kind and come to you i say it again everything that has left your life has left your hand may it gather its kind and return back to you listen anyone here who the devil has taunted spiritually financially in influence you are not rising for whatever reason in the name of jesus i force you to rise in the name of Jesus, I force you to grow. If there is anybody in this place, from January till now, you have not stood here to testify, I prophesy to you, now and the next 30 days, may it be your turn to stand here. Believe me, believe me, now and the next 30 days, may you stand here to testify anyone here called jobless or you are doing a job that is not a job any nonsense thing around that is not bringing you tangible sizable benefit in the name of jesus i don't know where the jobs are we create vacancies and put you there we create vacancies and put you there any man or woman who said over his dead body for you to succeed i declare their prayers answered tonight i declare their prayers answered tonight i pray for you listen there is a mantle of honor upon this house and if you belong to this family it should be evident in your life and in case it's not yet working like a programming in a computer like an antivirus i place that mantle of honor upon you may it shield you from shame may it may it shield you from shame hallelujah every spiritual life that has died here no more passion for the things of God no more passion for prayer no more passion for the word of God I plant in you a fresh passion tonight fresh passion tonight we're rounding up every family represented here 
that has not had a reason to smile this year it's been tears and tears from home every time they call you from home one episode of bad luck may this be the first good news you will hear good news of breakthrough good news of increase good news of speed in the name of Jesus Christ whoever rises up to find you may the God that I serve even in the secret may he fight them we're rounding up I pray for you barrenness or its kind looming around your life looming around your environment whether in your body whether in your finances whether in the works of your hands in your ministry in your business I pray for you the water that flows that makes the barren plant to receive strength and begin to rise and become a great tree I introduce that water into your life therefore I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus be fruitful be fruitful multiply multiply replenish subdue and may you command absolute dominion absolute dominion help them please every strange nightmare strangers roaming around your sleep not allowing you to enjoy the sleep that the saints should enjoy disturbing you oppressing you sleeping with you manipulating your dreams confusing you you don't know whether it's god speaking or it's the devil in the name of jesus i banish those strangers from your life forever i banish those strangers from your life forever in the name of jesus christ and i pray finally for you there is a spirit of increase there is a spirit that causes men to prosper there is a mantle that brings wealth from the east the north the south you have the value but you need the access you have the value already you are not a non-entity you already have what to give but the other side of the exchange is what you are looking for from the east to the west to the north to the south whoever must show up in your life in the next 30 days to be a ladder for you to climb to the next level i prophesy and i call them into your destiny i prophesy and i call them into your destiny there's someone here god is giving you a word go and register a company and just keep it you may not know what to do with it but just keep it keep it and give god space to use it and surprise you that's a prophetic word for somebody here just register it and keep it you there is no business to source for don't worry register it and keep it and give god space to surprise you may that happen to you in the name of jesus christ every circle of continual suffering where you think you are about to rise up another episode of trouble i declare where the devil put a comma i change it to a full stop never again never again never again in the name of jesus christ you're here you need jesus you're saying man of god i have watched the things that the holy spirit has done i have seen the transformation keep standing please no sitting no moving around let's stand up please keep standing you're here and you're saying apostle i want you to pray for me i love jesus christ but for some reason my life has gone haywire. I cannot say that I'm truly enjoying relationship and fellowship with him. And there are others who are saying, man of God, this is the first time. I've always mocked at the things of God. I've never really been serious. But now, I'm making up my mind for Jesus. Overflow 1, overflow 2, all following us online. Wherever you are. I know that our time is gone, but let's honor Jesus 
we cannot end this meeting without giving this opportunity wherever you are don't wait for anybody to come be the first i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here i want to lead you to jesus jesus is already talking to some people god bless you as you come god bless you as you come god bless you as you come there are people outside run like there's fire on the mountain don't stroll around run like there's fire on the mountain one i'll count one to five and that will be it. two lord i give you my three please we're out of time run run to jesus i live for you A fresh start, a new beginning. Will you have your way? I give you my heart. I give you my heart. I give you my soul. Hallelujah. If you are still coming, please rush and join them. It should not take a long time. If you are still indecisive, then just remain at your seat. By now you should know where you stand. When the Titanic sank, there were only two lists. Those who were saved, those who were lost. If you are not sure you are saved, come out and join them. Because it means that you are not, you are not saved. You should be very sure. If you are a man of God, it's like, I think I'm saved. Come and join them and get a very uh, a, a high level of certainty to know that you are in Christ. In the name of Jesus. I appreciate everyone. Daddy, thank you for coming. And all those who have come to make this decision. Please understand you are not reciting a poem. Don't be emotional about it. This is a simple decision, but it's the greatest miracle. You are opening up your heart to the life of God. The Bible says, and this life is in his son. It says, he that hath the son hath eternal life. Say this after me with all your heart and sincerely. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. Tonight, I come to you and I declare that you receive my life and manage it for me. I receive your life into my spirit. I declare that from today, Jesus is my Lord, my Savior, my friend, and my King. I declare that Satan has no power over my life. I'm a child of God. I'm born again in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I stretch my hands towards these great precious people. Bless them. Let this decision be genuine. And let this be the beginning of great days in their lives. I anoint you with grace. I command that you begin to see the faithfulness and the goodness of God in the land of the living. I plant in you like a virus, a hunger for the things of God. And I declare that it will override every other passion in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you for this great decision that you have made. Now hold on please. I want you to do two things for me. Number one, the Bible says, They that be planted in the house of the Lord, it says they shall flourish in the courts of our God. Visiting the house of God is not the key to consistency. You must settle down and receive the word. Our prayer meetings are Tuesdays, except for this week. We're making a little adjustment. I'm going to bring an announcement on that shortly. But you can be part of it for at least one month so that you can build your spiritual life. And then I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. They'll have your details and then they'll warmly follow you up on our behalf. And the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Please, this way, all of you, God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Koinonia, are you appreciating them? Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed 
and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you